guys. Uh, February warm up um, is on the board in both locations. Uh, I'm just going to run through just about all of it. Um, the usual stuff there's mobility stuff, there's dynamic stretching stuff, a little core and cardio, and then kind of a little fun fitness game at the end, which I like. I don't know why my camera seems really, really weird right now, but I look all like funky and spaced out, but you know, whatever. You know me, it's all the filters that I use to make my skin look nice. Um, so starting, it should be about 15 minutes total. I'm starting them in a uh, yoga posture called child's pose. You can leave them there for like 30 seconds to a minute. Um, and that's just sitting on the heels, forehead on the ground, relaxing. I'll just tell them, hey, you know, relax, relax the hips, relax your shoulders, take a couple of breaths, think about, you know, what you want to get out of it, how you want to treat yourself. Uh, the reasons you came, the people who inspired you to come, all that kind of stuff. And after this posture, <laughs> and I have talked a little bit, we're going to do five of uh, the spinal roll to upward dog. That will look something like this. Arch, drop the hips, lift the chest and look up. Good. Roll up. That was two of five. Three of five. Four should be a nice big wave. Arch and then drop. Arch and then drop. Cool. After that, you're going to have them kneeling. Boop, hands here. We're going to do uh, scapular extension and retractions. Man, my camera is really weird. Uh, and that will look like this. I'm kneeling. If people have to be up because their mobility issues on the back end, that's fine. But I want to theoretically, I want them sitting on the heels. Hands on the ground, and all I'm going to do is lower as far into the shoulder blades as possible, and then push as far out of them as possible. Cool. I'm going to do 10 of these. Two, three. It's basically like how much of a push up can I do without bending the elbows? Four, five. And I'm doing max effort. Six, seven, eight, nine. So extension and retraction. And then spinal flexion and extension, 10 of them. One, I don't care what they do with the arms. Two, three, I want the chin tuck and lift. Four, five, good, keep going. And you're gonna do 10 of those. Uh, and again, seated on the heels, but if they need to, they can be standing on the knees as well. So 10 spinal extension and flexion. And then I'm going to have them on all fours. We're going to work on a little bit of wrist action. This is going to look and feel different for everybody. Um, this is a great way to load wrists for some strengthening work, but without added weight or hand standing or anything like that, because I can control how much weight is in my wrist by where I lean. Fingers wide, I'm going to do two in either direction. Fingers facing forward, back, right, forward, Feel free to go out over the arms. That's the whole point over time is to be able to load it progressively wider ranges of motion. Good. As soon as I go to this and a finger comes up, that means I went too far. Boop. So the fingers stay flat. So two in that direction and then two in this direction. Forward, outward, rightward. I'm not moving the hips too much. I'm just moving as much circle in the wrist as I can. So two in either direction, fingers face forward. Two in either direction, fingers facing Outward, these get progressively worse. And I'm gonna do two in either direction of this horrible little thing of them facing backwards. It'll be a small circle, back up as far as you can, and then right, and then forward is the easy part, and then left, and then back it up. Good, two in one direction, and then two in the other, and then I'll say, okay, relax, shake your wrists out for a second. And then we're going to do, um, what do we got? Boop, 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 downward dog hip circle. So in the past, we've done these nice big hip circles, forward, upward, back, down, and then the reverse. That would be one. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to do them in downward dog. Um, they're a little bit more neurologically uh, challenging to figure it out. So downward facing dog, butt pushes up and back. I'm going to try and keep this posture of me pushing backwards as I do five of these on either side, forward, upward. Knee in, backwards, outwards. And I kind of joke to think right here, it's like a dog with a fire hydrant. Good. 
Try not to have too much weight shifting where this is happening or this is happening because they're moving the hip. Five of those nice big hip circles on either side. Cool. Then, uh, so that was downward dog. Then um, you're gonna do something called a cricket squat, which basically means I'm gonna take the legs wide. We'll do this. Whoop. The feet are turned out. I'm gonna go very wide. I'm gonna go and do kind of a 90 degree knee situation. Try not to go so low you lean forward. I'm gonna take the arms up. I'm gonna take the arms as far back as possible, but without, right? This is my arms back. This is my back doing a bunch of the work, cool? And then from that position, I'm gonna do these arm circles. 10 in either direction, 10 in the other. One, two, three. I'm gonna try and break my record of the reverse part of that circle every time. Nine, 10, and then a one, two, three, four, five. And you're maintaining that nice static squat the whole time called a cricket squat. Should be a little bouncy, like you're squatting kind of on a east and west running um, balance wire or slack line or something. Good. And then what do we got? Knee circles, knee and ankle circles. I just want to make sure I'm getting everything on the list because I'm looking at really small print here. Good. So often in the past, we have done ankle circles where I come into a bent position, a little hinged position, and I'll roll on the outside and then on the forward and on the inside. Um, I really like those. We're just throwing a tiny hitch in it where I'm going to take the knees in the same direction instead of doing opposing directions. So that will look like this. Toes up, roll the outsides of both, and then forward over them. Woo! And then the outsides of both. And then behind, around the heels. Good. So obviously, this is going to look really different for everybody. I'm going to go five in one direction, five in the other. The lower I go, the more challenging that is going to get. So your mobile people will go a little bit lower. Your tighter people or possibly recovering from injured people uh, will go a little bit higher in those. Five in either direction of same circle um, knee and ankle circles. Cool. And we get to a core part that you're going to do twice. Five prone X and O's. Um, these are kind of my one of my favorite core exercises because it does middle back and uh, butt as well. So you're going to make shape of the letter X. Uh, key element is taking the legs as wide as possible. So you're working outside of the hips as well. And then I'm going to keep everything up as I go and touch four limbs and then reach out. So it doesn't look like this. I'm going to do that five times. Two, three, or everything stays up, including the thighs. And five, then these are really cool. It's a combination exercise. What I'm gonna do is take my feet further away than I normally would to do a hip bridge. So I'm gonna do a hip bridge. And then as I come up, my feet are gonna come off the ground. I'm gonna reach through one, two, three of 10, hip bridge, feet off the ground, rope pull sit up, 10 of them. My goal is to kind of coordinate them so it's a nice smooth movement through all 10 of them and not like a chunky one is one obvious movement, one is the other, but to make them kind of flow in together a little bit. Cool. And then 10 hollow body rocks. We all know them. everybody hates them. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, 10. And then you'd repeat again, 10 X and O's, 10 supine or five X and O's, 10 bridges to row pull sit up and then 10 hollow body rock and then you get to the last section um, which will be done twice as well i'm going to do from that position i just did these and then i'm going to do five roll up jump roll back roll up jump obviously the modification would look something like this good rolling that roll is called a deck squat. Basically, you're hitting the deck. It's like, I like them because it's kind of like the reverse burpee. You will do five of those. Then 10 side lunge twisting. These are a little complicated, but they're very, very cool. So legs wide. Bend the right knee. Feet stay flat. Twist to the right knee. Bend the left knee. 
and then twist to the left knee. Hold on. And then bend the right knee. And then twist to the right knee. Cool. So I'm basically twisting away from the direction that I am going to go in. Six. I'm going to do 10 of those. And you'll notice that people actually like them. And you'll get people in my class. Last time I did it, people were like, shh. Same thing. The more mobile people can go a little bit lower. Uh, the lower you go, the more challenging that is. And I really emphasize depth where you challenge going lower and challenging going into that twist as deeply as possible. Um, it's a really, really fun movement. Then 10, beast to lunge to reach up. That will look like this. Um, here I am in a plank. Sit back on the heels, but the knees don't touch the ground. Step forward, reach up. That was one of 10. Two. Three. Good. You'll do 10 of those and then immediately right back to these. Good. Five rolls to hopping. 10 side lunge, cool twisty using the forest thing. And then 10 loaded beast to a lunge and reach up. Uh, the last thing on the list that is very, very fun, I think. It's something I've done in the past, but I haven't done it this, this way. So if you have two minutes left on the warm up, or if you want two minutes at the end, you can insert this anywhere. This is just totally an option. And basically it's straight up a game of Simon Says. So for two minutes, I'm gonna press the clock and I'm gonna say, Simon Says jumping jacks. They're doing jumping jacks. Simon Says lunges, they're doing lunges. Simon says push-ups. Simon says bicycle crunches. They're doing bicycle crunches. Good, come back up, do running in place. Oh, maybe I caught somebody. So I'm literally gonna play a game of Simon Says with them. And I always tell them at the beginning, if you, if Simon didn't say, that's a burpee. So they have to do a burpee if they screw it up and they are not paying attention. To me, it's just a fun way to also get them like all uh, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of fun, a little bit of game that we played when we were kids uh, in a way to keep them, okay, I got to pay attention because I don't want to be the only person who does a burpee while everybody's doing else. So you got two minutes to cycle them through everything. I use jumping jacks, lunges, bicycle crunches, squats, uh, jumping lunges or cycling lunges, push-ups, uh, Superman things, sit-ups, um, side lunges, star jacks or whatever, like anything, just come up with absolutely anything. And the other thing with that two minutes is I try to uh, really mess with the timing as well. So I'm not like, okay, they did 20 jumping jacks. Now they'll do 20 of this. I'm like, okay, jumping jacks. Okay, mountain climbers, jumping jacks, mountain climbers. And I'll try to, as soon as everybody is in the mountain climber position, I'll get them right back up into another position. So part of the fun puzzle is making them change positions a lot. So don't do just like jumping jacks and then running in place and then squats and then running plate where they're always in the same position. Try to get them to be on their back, on their stomach, on their back, on their standing, and then on their back, and then their standing, and then their stomach. And then, you know, there's just a ton of variety. It's super fun. Cool. That's just for fun and kind of a just interesting way to finish the warm up. Cool. Uh, if anybody has any questions, as always, give me a holler, send me a text. Uh, if you're not one of my trainers and you watch this anyway, feel free to do the warm up and tell me what you thought. Uh, but that is it. Enjoy the crazy cold weather that we're going to have for two days. Uh, if you are one of my trainers watching this, just, you know, keep track of your schedule. Uh, it's pretty fluid when stuff like this happens, but we try to get as many emails as possible out. February. Let's go. Have fun. End.